Hello everybody, my name is Chris Kramer and I say hello and welcome here at Blues Harmonica Basics. I want to help you to become a better harmonica player and today I want to show you three sound effects, how you can make your sound in more interesting uh, with using your hands. Sound effect number one is a tremolo. You know this sound when from the time when you were a kid and the tremolo on the harmonica is more or less the same than this. You open and you close the cavity you build with your hands around your harmonica, but you do not open it completely or close it completely. Just in between. And I have a harmonica in C and I blow channel four and draw channel four and it sounds like this. The advantage is when you do this exercise, blow and draw, then you have no problems with your, uh, with your breathing because your breathing is endless, but you can do this exercise unendless. That means you can concentrate only and focus only on the tremolo on the move with your hands. And tremolo does not mean quicker, better. Also a slow, a really slow tremolo can sound very, very fantastic when it comes to ballads or slow blues numbers. And especially when it comes to the end of the song. And then you can make, when you put all your emotions into your playing, into your harmonica playing, you can make it twice or three times more emotional. And um, also when you play in the first position, So my tip to practice a tremolo, play channel four, blow and draw and um, open and close it in a different way, a little bit more, a little bit less, a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Just try it, do it only a few minutes and focus only on the hand and then you will come into the tremolo and then you have the first easy sound effect. You can make your harmonica sound much more interesting. One example. Sound effect number two is a wawa, and the wawa is nearly the same, but now you open and close the cavity you build with your hands around your harmonica completely. Completely open, completely close, and you have to do it fast. Don't think, just do it. Like wow, 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 wow. When you think about the wah wah in your head, it helps you. The 
most common mistake is that people open quick and close too slowly. And this sounds like this. And then all the intensity, the power of your waba get lost. You lose all the power. And um, so my advice for a practice in the waba is just same channel four, draw and blow and do it more or less like this. careful when you close the, the cavity completely don't do it too strong and then you destroy or, or, or damage your or hurt your lips and teeth so be careful with that and now combine the tremolo and the vava effect in one exercise just continue blow and draw on channel four and then do the tremolo and the vava and really concentrate that you really make a difference between these two effects that everybody hears there are two effects it's not a mix of both it sounds like this It's really good when you invest five minutes only doing this and that will help you. And um, these are two very important sound effects you can do with your hand, the tremolo and the vava. And uh, when you continue blues harmonica basics or when we come to the next um, tutorials, then uh, I will show you how to combine the baba with other sound effects. So it's that it's a must effect. You must play the baba and the tremolo to be a good harmonica player. Now the third sound effect is a little bit half of a wawa. When you do music, you can combine notes together, and uh, it's called legato. Or you can um, play staccato. It's like you cut the notes at the end and don't combine them. Connect the note with the next note. You can support the staccato when you do this move with your hand. Wow, 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 wow. open quickly and you close when you do not breathe. So you have a little bit more fun. I made this riff for you. I hope I could help you a little bit and I hope I could give you some inspiration. And uh, now you have three more sound effects you can do with your hands to make your harmonica playing more interesting. And uh, my name is Chris Kramer and I hope we see you again next week here at Blues Harmonica Basics.